It's time for our Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson with Professor Lockhart. I just love his books. He's such a brilliant writer. Ugh, that is disgusting. Uh, there you go. Thanks, Ron. Can everyone see me? Can you all hear me? Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that I will be taking up the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. Welcome to Defense Against the Dark Arts. My fame makes an introduction unnecessary, but I'll delight you with one anyway. I am Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, third class. Honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League and five-time winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. Ah, I see you've all bought a complete set of my books. Well done. Today, we shall be learning the Rictus Sempra spell. Rictus Sempra is very useful when stunning certain pesky creatures such as Cornish pixies. Who wants to be first? Harry Potter, will you step down here, please? Here you go. First, Harry, cast Spongify on this test object. Fire crabs are nasty little pests that like to shoot hot flame out of the... Well, at you. You can stun them by casting Richter Sempra on them. Then you can use Flipendo to push them around. This indicates that a fire crab placed on or nearby the symbol will cause something to happen in the world, Harry. Try and use Flipendo to push the fire crab onto this plate. Flipendo! Flipendo! Good run, Harry. Five points to Gryffindor. Good job, Harry! Now that is a Cornish pixie! Troublesome and annoying creatures they are. If they touch you, they will bite. So try to avoid... Uh, uh. 
Harry, you are nearly as talented as I, although I did have a much higher score on my first try, <laughs> but that's another story. That's a giant orange snail. Avoid touching them or their slime trails. The acid that they secrete will burn you. Harry, trust me, I know. Rictosempra will stun them, and then you can use Flipendo to push them around. Don't be shy about coming around to my office to thank me for the beans. Gnomes are a greedy lot. They will try to steal your Bertie Bot's beans. Flipendo will push them onto their backs and cause them to drop anything they might have stolen. You can also pick up gnomes and throw them around. Throw them into a gnome hole to permanently get rid of them. That is a gnome hole. This is where gnomes come from and where they go to deposit stolen goods. Throw gnomes into these holes to permanently get rid of them. You cannot climb into them. <laughs> Nice one, Harry! You have set a new personal high score! Imps are vicious little creatures. Like gnomes, you use Flipendo to knock them back. Then you can pick them up and throw them into a hole to get rid of them. Good job, Harry. I cannot get over how generous I am with Bertie Bot's every flavour beans. Don't eat them all at once.
One, Harry, you have set a new personal high score. Ten points to Gryffindor.
However, I can see that you want to be the very best. I like that in a Harry. Good luck! Five points to Gryffindor!
Run, Harry! Fifteen points to Gryffindor. Here you go!
What's going on?
I'm sorry, Harry, but you will have to do better before I can award you any more house points. <laughs> 